The perfect party. Everyone, quick! We don't have much time. Daria, what's the matter? An attack on the school? A pop quiz? No, Rooney. It's nothing like that. We forgot Teacher's Day. We have to organize a party for the teachers. A party? I love parties! Oh. Not just any party. The best ever. It has to be the perfect party for the perfect teachers. But they'll be back really soon from the Magical Council. We'll never get it ready in time. We will, as long as we all work together on it. The Immortals' favorite color is red, blue for the Professor, and yellow for Marlene. Hmm. The only garland we have is green. Hmm. In that case, you need a spell to change the color. Here you go. Say it three times and the garland will start turning all the colors of the rainbow. Magical! Oh, Jess, that's excellent. The Professor and the Immortal play every evening, right? Right, those two like chess a lot. Yes, although this evening can't be like the others. It needs to be special. How about three board defector chess, invented by the wise men of the Kingdom of the Seven Peaks, you know? Of course, that's exactly what we need. Right, we'll need two more chess boards then. Got it. Whatever you're making smells good. They're coconut cookies, see? Perfect. Those are the Immortal's favorite kind. Mm hmm And he eats them all the time. So often that he always keeps them in his desk. <laughs> they won't be much of a surprise. What about a coconut cake instead of cookies? He doesn't have one of those in his desk. <laughs> Great idea. How about a cake in the shape of a school? It'll be tricky keeping the towers up. Unpredictable syrup. The stickiest stuff in the world. It'll keep any tower standing. Yes, good idea. Hmm. I just can't decide which hats would look better for Teacher's Day. Let me think. What about... Academic caps! Of course! That's perfect for Teacher's Day. Huh. I hope that the teachers will like them as well. Violins. Harp. Double bass. All the Immortals' favorites. Although... Marlene prefers the trumpet and the flute. Then let's have a whole orchestra. Starting with the flute. Hey, what's this thing? A joy tuning fork? Tap the fork and everyone will be in a delightful mood all day. With this joy tuning fork, the party will be perfect, even if something goes wrong today. Wait, what about our rehearsal? <gasps> no, my coconut castle. Uh, is that an earthquake? It's the joy tuning fork. There's something wrong with it. Hey, stop those defectors! They won't get away! We have to stop that tuning fork! Easy now! Stop immediately! <sighs> That's it. The party is ruined. It's my fault. Daria, if it weren't for you, no one would have remembered Teacher's Day. And we still have time to put everything back the way it was. Do we really? Of course. Okay, then. Let's get it done. Wow. Is this what I think it is? How beautiful. It looks like the students here have organized a party for us in order to celebrate Teacher's Day. Happy Teacher's Day! Happy Teacher's Day! Happy Teacher's Day! Yeah! <laughs> the joy tuning fork. 
I've wanted to fix that for years, but I lost it. How did it come to be at our wonderful party? I wanted everyone to have fun, but it turns out the joy tuning fork is broken. The chess pieces ran away, the caps flew off, all we have is checkers. Daria, it's the thought that counts, don't you see? We don't mind if we have caps or a certain game. You did this for us, and it's wonderful as is. The Good Luck Guardian. Dorma, what's the matter? They say that if a ghost passes through your body, it will take all your good luck with it. That's only if you believe in luck, which I personally don't. You don't believe in it? You believe in bad luck, don't you? No, I don't believe in bad luck either, because if you study hard, you don't need good luck to get an A. In El Dorado, there's a saying that if you bounce a ball 505 times, you'll have good luck all day. And I believe it. 105, 106. <laughs> Dorma and I won't need good luck to beat you at soccer. <laughs> no way. Mm -hmm. In the yard, for all to see. Oh, Vosco, you're going to knock a vase over on me. Be careful. Oh. No, 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 no. And are those paintings hung properly? They look like they could fall any minute. <gasps> Hmm, I thought I ordered a professor's hat. Oh, but this one's not too bad. <laughs> 132, 133. <laughs> oh man, now I have to start over. I saw a horned monster down there. My day's barely started and my luck's already terrible. It's just the professor. <laughs> so, if even the professor is out to scare me, how will I last till nightfall? Dorma, you're going to be jumping at every single shadow. I think this spell could help you. When you recite the spell and connect the two halves of the talisman, a guardian spirit will appear. It'll drive away bad luck 24 hours a day without a break. All right, I'll give this a try. May this spell protect me, guard me, and defend me. <laughs> You'll be completely safe with this guardian. An ironclad guarantee. Thank you, Doria. Four, five hundred and five. Now I'll have a lucky day. <laughs> and victory will be ours. We'll see about that, won't we? Then want to see something cool? I'll score a goal without looking. A little thing I like to call super luck. Ugh. Dorma, that really hurt. It wasn't me, Vosco. Come on, really? Three against two and that uniform is cheating. We can't play a match against him. Imagine if that hunk of iron steps on your foot. It won't be pretty. Wait there and just stay still. Okay, Vasco, try that again. <clears throat> kind of feels like he doesn't want to listen. He's coming to take a shot at our goal. I think he's after you personally. Stop still. He probably thought Vasco wanted to hit me with the ball. Maybe you should let him go now. Just split the talisman. Do I have to split the talisman? That sounds like a terrible idea. I'll never have any good luck ever again. Well, the 
ball is clearly on your side now, so I am not going to play with it. <laughs> Make it stop! Guardian, no! Stay! That Guardian! That's enough! <laughs> to the school! He won't get us there! Tired out. Deflated, even. Uh, I liked him a bit more as the ball. Vasco, run! I'll hold him off for you! is bad luck, even in Eldorado. You've got enough bad luck as it is! I'll split it myself! <laughs> Why are you doing acrobatics with the bear? Hang on, Vosco. I'll save you! Oh, I'm going to fall down! Vosco, go ahead and split the talisman, please! <sighs> <laughs> Great. Let the bad luck begin. Nothing's beginning. All these superstitions about luck, they're not real. You bounced that ball 500 times and weren't lucky at all. Yeah, I wouldn't say today was a lucky one. <laughs> and Dorma had a rough time with the Guardian. And it was all because I summoned him thinking he'd solve my problems for me. But now I'll handle those troubles on my own. All with the help of my awesome friends. I'm glad to hear that. As wizards, we believe in many magical things and powers, like ghosts, spells, even Baba Yaga. But luck shouldn't worry you. Hey there, Archie. <laughs> <laughs> A big adventure. I proudly present the newest additions to our museum. Unique finds from our herological expedition. Bracelet of Thumbelina. Wow, she must have been tiny. The armor of Firewing the 39th. Now he was a big hero. Look at the size of that. Hm. Size isn't everything. Maybe his brain was as small as Thumbelina's bracelet. Now that's more like it, the shield of Brunhilde the Clever. Legend has it that Brunhilde was both smart and tough. It's a little odd. Nothing here actually specifies her height. <sighs> I couldn't lift that shield if I wanted to, much less do anything heroic with it. I know, right? I can't lift my youngest brother's shield. How will we be heroes without shields? We have some growing to do. I might have an idea. Let's meet here when class is over, and I promise you will be able to lift any shield. Hmm, they don't know a thing about magic. Fawning over that metal junk and not even a glance at the bracelet. That thing can shrink anything down, as small as you want. Is that a speck of dust there? No, it's the immortal. I want that. So small, but so special. And they're kidding if they're unguarded. And that concludes today's little museum artifact tour. It's lunchtime. <laughs> <gasps> hmm, clever of him. Hmm. What we need now is... We need someone who is small. Someone like... Ah, a raven! <laughs> and a frog, too. And a spider. There. You're going to be my very own soldiers. My evil heroes. <laughs> I'm your commander-in-chief now. You'll obey my orders. I could barely sit still in class. Okay, we're ready. Show us what you've got. Look, gingerbread men taught me how to make enlarging and shrinking magic cookies. You can grow as big as you want with these and pick up whatever shields you like. A bite of this one and you grow. Eat this one and you shrink. That is, if I didn't mess up the recipe. Well, nothing ventured, nothing gained. And it's in the name of science. <gasps> Put that bracelet back immediately! Dorma, quick! The shrinking cookie! Uh. Hey, stop! Uh. That's my old hairpin! And the professor's favorite spoon! 
<gasps> this is a sticky situation. Well, it's not Brunhilde's shield, but it suits me fine. Okay, Thief, this is your final warning. You know you can't hide from me in the library. I know every page in here. Oh, gotcha! Hoist the sails! Full speed ahead, set a course for the end of the chapter! Unshipwrecked. There it is! Hey, stop! Got you at last! Give us the bracelet! got a whole forest gang. But why the bracelet? Because animals don't wear jewelry. Baba Yaga! That glow, didn't you see it? She's bewitched them to get to that bracelet. Quick, put me up on the window and call Chirpy. Chirpy! Hello, Chirpy. We'll go with you. This is no job for giants. Stay here and warn the others. Baba Yaga is up to something. All around is wonderful stories. Some are strange, but none of them boring, yeah. We're always hungry to know more Learning all the spells we believe in Secrets of the universe even, yeah We're gonna open up the door When times are tough we gain Enchanted helper. Thumbelina's bracelet is now Baba Yaga's ring. Ah. <laughs> what should I shrink now? Oh, I know. Everything. <laughs> Great work. I'm promoting you all to general. <whistles> Meet tonight at Wonderbond School. Then we'll decide what to do with our miniature immortal. <laughs> No. First reverse. <laughs> oh, come on, you little. Big things come in small packages. Oh, I won't say goodbye. I left a pot on the stove. You all just got lucky. Daria, for someone so small, you've shown enormous courage. So, perhaps Wondermont has found its own Bruhilda or its own Thumbelina. Because, you see, heroes don't have to be big. That's why Thumbelina's tiny bracelet is every bit as valuable as that giant shield. Oh, that little menace. I had all these good ideas and she ruined them. <laughs> oh, well, at least I have my soldiers. Oh. Oh. Mm. Like a grown-up. Almost there. Hidden by magic lock and key, a room that only grown-ups see. <gasps> there are secret rooms in our school? Yes, we store important documents in here. If they got mixed up, it would cause an awful lot of confusion. <laughs> we might get ordinary sticks instead of magical wands, or schedule exams instead of holidays. That's why this room is for grown-ups only. Amazing! And I thought that I knew every room in this school. Don't forget to water the flowers in the small greenhouse. We have another greenhouse? We do, but it's off limits to children. <sighs> off limits to children. I wonder what interesting things they keep there. Rare plants in the greenhouse, ancient spells in the records room. <sighs> if only we were grown-ups. I do need a refresher on the verbs. Is it ne-i-e or ne i -e? It's a shame. If only Marlene could join us for the Unicorn Language course. Yes, but Marlene is the assistant principal. She can only be replaced by an adult magician. And where would we find one? Me? I could serve as the assistant principal. Or more like, assistant assistant. That is out of the question. Rather, it would be out of the question. But this is Daria. I think she could handle it. 
You can definitely handle this. The assistant principal doesn't have many responsibilities. Here's a short list. Mm. Here is the assistant principal's badge and the key to the small greenhouse. What are the flowers? But don't let the begonia get out. You'll also need to pick the ripe letters in the records room. The post squirrel will be coming for them. Um... Keep an eye on the others. After all, you're in charge. And if anything goes wrong, you can take off the badge. I'll rush right back to help you. No way. I don't need any help. Hello there. I am the adult magician who will be watering you today. I hope we grow to like each other. I wish I'd known ya. It's fun to be grown up. I wish I'd known ya. It's fun to be grown up. I wish I'd known ya. It's fun to be grown up. Ah, are you the assistant principal? Yes, are you the smile of the closet? No, I'm the records room sigh. No time to smile, only sigh. We're very serious here. Letters, invoices, reports. These all require your signature. That's it? Don't you have anything more exciting in here? Like ancient prophecies? And maybe you have a secret encyclopedia I can read? I'm old enough to read them now. <sighs> Give me a moment. The most interesting thing I have to offer you is the manual for a kettle. Like to see? A report on grades. A report on the dishes. A report on reports. Oh, how exciting! We received an invitation to the Songbirds concert. We must respond quickly. They need a list of who will be attending the concert. <sighs> okay, so we have Rooney, Dorma, Vasco, Levan. <gasps> the Begonia! How did it get out? How does Marlene handle this thing? Let me check the manual. Aha! If the begonia escapes, pour the anti-growth elixir from the red bottle on it. I made a mistake, but I fixed it. Like a grown-up. Not to mention, I took care of the documents. I barely got the letters to the post squirrel. Too bad we won't all be going to the concert. Even though I would have loved to hear Songbird perform live. Oh, I didn't finish the response letter. Mm, I messed up again. I'm not very good at this. Oh, the Seven League Boots! Daria, Daria! Our kite got stuck and we can't get it down. Can you please help us out? Dorma, I really don't have time for that right now. Don't worry. We've got this. Wind could get it down. What about the storm spell? Oh, this is a speedy postal service. Mr. Postman, please wait for me. I really need to finish writing my letter. <sighs> and now, we can all attend. Oh, I need a break. Somebody, please help us! wanted our kite back, so we used the spell. But the storm got out of control. But why? We're not supposed to use magic. Daria, help us. You're the assistant principal. Well, I... I don't know what to do. Oh, being a grown-up is hard. Marlene, I need your help. Please. Spell gone wrong, reverse. Thunderstorm, disperse. I'm so sorry. I messed up and couldn't do anything right. That's not true, Daria. You did your very best. You were a great assistant principal. Our class can be difficult at times, even for a grown-up. Actually, I didn't like growing up so suddenly. Not like that. I'd rather take time to grow up. So for now, could I go play with everyone else, Marlene? Of course you can. <laughs> this way! <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> Our Daria. Wow, what kind of bird is that? A vanishing raven. Not much is known about them. But they are known to be shy, so it's very important that we're quiet. 
Surrender, beast! <gasps> You'll never escape a hero! Could you please go and practice being heroes somewhere else? Can't you see I'm in the middle of some important research? Daria, join us! I want to play too! Us too! <laughs> <laughs> Great. Now I can't do my research. Meal time here. Hey, Daria, what's that? It's an invitation to a special school for highly gifted magic users. You will never leave us, right? I will. Then nobody will be able to distract me from my research. Sweeping, swabbing magic broom. Fly inside and clean my room. <laughs> work either. Now, what was that other spell again? I haven't used it in a while. Don't make that face. The Immortal has a book on housekeeping. I'm sure it must contain some cleaning spells. We'll have you cleaned up in no time. So you just wait here. I will need to get into the school. How do I do that? Hmm, I don't exactly look like a princess. Oh, but I can become one. Mix some mushrooms from the glade. Brew some magic for this trade. I'm the princess, you're the witch. One, two, three, and now we switch. <sighs> ah! <gasps> What's going on? Baba Yaga must have done this. How will I get back into school like this? Gloria, are you really leaving? Leaving? Of course not. I just got here. Uh, for class. Good afternoon, my dear students. It's time to begin class. Our topic today is reversal spells. I will need two volunteers. Pick me. Could I be reversed first? And me. Second to first, reverse. Uh. Uh. Anyone else want to try? Me next. Second to first, uh. reverse. Uh. Daria, that wasn't very nice. Careful, Daria. <laughs> it's Baba Yaga. What is she up to? I've got this. Second to first, reverse. There. Such mastery of the lesson. Did you see that? Second to first, reverse. <laughs> Second to first, reverse. Second to first, reverse. Now then, Baba Yaga has been persistent today in her attempts to break into the school. So if you could, please, stand guard tonight, Archie. No offense, but I think you need a spring cleaning. I have an idea. I'll clean you right up, and you can help me with something. And now we're even. Thank you. Oh, I made it inside. Now I need to find that book with counter spells. Found it. No, not that one. There. This evil spell I erase to restore my one true face. This evil spell I erase to restore my one true face. Yes, it worked. <gasps> Fine. It's time to start looking for a couple of cleaning spells. <gasps> you should have stayed in the forest. Sorry, but they don't teach magic in the forest. What's all the commotion? It's Baba Yaga! She turned into me! And I can prove I'm real because I know today's lesson. What spell did we learn? It was a reversal spell. What makes you think you can turn into my student? I'll send you somewhere so far away that you can't interfere with our lessons anymore. The moon! <laughs> Surrender, whoever you... aren't? I had a feeling that wasn't really Daria earlier. Well, admit it. Which of you is the fake one? <laughs> Lisa! Hold on! I've got you! I have always wanted to go to the moon. Daria, I'm sorry that we disturbed your research. How do you know that I'm the real one? 
Because our Dario wouldn't hesitate to save me. You came to the moon too? It's not the moon, it's our forest. I wanted to scare Baba Yaga. And, on that note, second to first, reverse! Oh. 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 Hmm, you know, it's kind of nice. I could live on the moon. <laughs> Daria, I thought you wanted to go to that school. Our school is the only one that I want to go to. My friends and teachers make this the best school ever. <laughs> A whole week. Watch for a package with a present inside on Sunsy Day. With love, your brothers. <laughs> I wonder what it could be. A toy? No, not cool enough. Oh, I can't wait. Same here. I did say I wanted an invisibility crown. Oh, but I won't find out what it is for a whole nother week. Hey, Rooney, don't be sad. That just means a whole other week of playing ball. Let's go! <laughs> the weather is awful. Grunwald's students were trying to water the plants today. So they summoned rain. But they overdid it and created a storm instead. It'll be fixed in no time. But don't go outside until then. They're not, uh, the best students. Don't come back! Catch it! Catch it! There must be something here to help me pass the time until it's Sunsy Day. Wish I could sleep through the week like Sleeping Beauty. This is gonna be a, a really long week. Wow, what in the world is this? To travel to the moment you want, say it loud and clear, and flip the hourglass over. Perfect, just what I need. I want next week to pass by in an instant. Now! We'll catch you yet. Catch who? It's flying away. It's my package. Stop. It catch really it. worked. You wanted to make it a surprise for you, but your brothers put a spell on it so that only you could open it. Stop! Don't grab it. It's getting away. Wow. Did we learn that in class? Yes, and I spent all last week practicing it. Catch it. It's getting away. You guys, it's going to escape through the chimney. Invisible lock shut tight. How did you do that? It's not that hard. I was in the library last week and found just the right spell. Here comes my heroic move in action! Did you learn how to do all that in one week? Of course. There are seven days in a week. Come on, Rooney. Let's see what's inside. It took six of them to catch one little package. Big deal. If I had that week, then I could tame six packages by myself in five minutes. No, four. Maybe three. Hey, wait. I know. I have this. I want the last week back. All right, let's go right away, Hourglass. Yes, a storm, just like before. Stop, stop, stop at once! Uh, Professor, <laughs> you wouldn't happen to, I don't know, have any new spells for stopping things real fast? Um, stopping spells? Of course, how could I forget? Stop still! Ah, but what do you want to stop? Nothing particular, but imagine if someone throws a ball at a window, and I'm like, stop! Now then, let's begin. In order to freeze a moving object, you must visualize it. And then say, stop still! <gasps> oh, wow! Now it's your turn. Ready, go! Stop still! Oh. Uh... You know, Isaac Newton also needed an apple to fall on his head to learn something new. That wasn't bad at all for your first try. But you'll have to practice a good deal to make sure nobody gets injured. Stop still! Oh, I froze the wrong thing! Stop still! Oh, wrong again! Someone catch me! Stop still! Yes! 
missing words! <laughs> Rooney, you can stop any runaway apple in the world now. Stop sin! <laughs> Insufferable girls again. They're always taunting me. So, you're waiting for a package, are you? I'll keep you waiting. <laughs> oh, my, the tiger is simply wonderful. I have something to show you, too. Vasco, toss me an apple. <gasps> <gasps> That's my package. That's mine. It's yours. <laughs> Come and take it if you can. You may stop apples, but can you stop me? <laughs> Comes my heroic move in action. Ah! Here comes the unstoppable snowman. Stop still! Hooray! Good job, Rooney. That was great. I'm getting a package soon too. A boomerang ball. It comes back by itself if you miss the go. But I won't get it for another week. I hate waiting. Do you know if there's a spell for speeding up time? You know, instead of rushing time, enjoy it. You'd be surprised by how much you can learn and do in a week. Come on, I know what we can do. Let's try out my invisibility crown. <laughs> Come on. The Wondermont Boomerang. Move the Rooney double flying rainbow move. One, two. Hey, hey, hey! One, two, three, four. Ha! <gasps> did you see that? He did four full twists. Exactly. It helps you throw the boomerang harder. The El Dorado leap with a surprise. It's the best way to attack dragons, you know. Dragons? Of course. But you won't get kindness from dragons. Once a dragon attacked my home in El Dorado, we shot arrows at it and threw spears and the thing still got back up. Then the great El Guerrero, our most superheroic superhero, put a spell on his shield. He flew up into the sky on it and then just like hurled a boomerang. We know about El Guerrero in the Seven Kingdoms. We study his biography in high school. Someday, I'll perform the same kind of feat. If a dragon shows up, I mean. I think you could have just used an ordinary spell for flying lizards. But it's impressive, that's for sure. No one here can do that. Oh, oh yes, they can. I can do a better, even higher jump. Where do you see the trick I can do? Uh, wanna bet? Or is our El Guerrero too scared? Me scared, you say? Eldoradans don't know how to be scared. Keep it up! You're doing great! <laughs> Do one more round! <laughs> hmm, look at that leap like a grasshopper. But I will be the best. Will you help me? Go find out everything. Why he jumps so well, how he lands, what secrets he has. Everything. Got it? Bosco, step on it! That's already 2.5 dragon speed! Oh. Hmm. <gasps> Flight enhancer, of course! With this, it's easy to fly like a superhero! Where did the bottle go? It was right here. Well, Mr. Champion, you ready? <laughs> I can't wait to show everyone who the best jumper is. Fine, but I am not going to hold back. <laughs> I'm sorry, but me neither. Just remember, winning isn't everything. Of course it is. Victory is everything, especially mine. We're all ready. Then let's go. <laughs> What's happening? Oh. Don't go against 
traffic. You must follow the traffic rules. <sighs> well, Professor, isn't it just wonderful to ride through the placid sky with a nice cup of hot tea? Yes. We don't often have days like this at Wondermont, when everything is so quiet and peaceful. Ah! Ah! Rooney, give me your hand! And our pupils today are so calm. Smile, smile. And well-behaved. They're growing up, you know. Oh, there's my bottle. Hey, you didn't use it on your disc, did you? So it's fine for you, but not the rest of us. I have every right to enhance my flight, too. <laughs> it really worked out for you, huh? This stuff is for the boomerang, so it flies further and comes back quicker. You see? Your disc is coming back now. Woo -hoo! Have some decency! I guess you... saved me. Now I owe you. <laughs> In that case... Why don't you teach me how to do those spins you do? Like the ballerina and the cat's twist. Me? Teach you? Okay, and you can teach me your El Dorado leap with a surprise. No problem. That was amazing, that was Rooney. So cool. Well done, Vasco. What a feat. I couldn't have done it better myself. Your attention, please. Rooney and Vasco present our awesome joint flying disc show. Bravo! It's a real show. So, what do you call your incredible maneuver? Uh, the Wondermont... Boomerang! That's a great title. I'm sure this maneuver is worth including in the Magical Aerial Acrobatics textbooks. <laughs> <laughs> Slipshod. Seeds from Sunsea. Plumberries are the very best ever. I also love plumberry jam. Why don't we plant these? <laughs> Yay! How long will it take? Can they be done by lunch? Or dinner? Rooney, dear. <laughs> I should sleep here so that I don't miss it. It takes several days for plumberry trees to grow and longer for berries to appear. Well, can't we do something to uh, make them grow faster? Mm. There is a growing elixir we could add, but it takes a while to brew. And I still need to check your herbariums. Oh, I can make the elixir. Pretty please? With the cherry on top? Of course. But follow the recipe exactly, with no shortcuts. Making the elixir slipshod won't get you anywhere. Three tricolor petals. One, two, three. Rooney! <laughs> Focus. Ten blades of fast-growing grass. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hmm. Rooney! Huh? We're going to play skip ball. Wanna join? I'm coming! Just give me a... Oh, still gotta add. One hundred drops of rainbow. Counting those will take forever. I'll just guess. Allow it to steep. Okay, I'm off. <laughs> Good afternoon! Hot soup right out of the oven! Thanks! Thank you! And what a great <laughs> game! But we were only able to skip three balls. And we skipped 15, so we win! I love playing skip ball, it's so fun! And I love this soup too! Ugh. It's amazing! <laughs> hey, you! Get away from our soup! Stop! Hey, don't do that! Stop it! Come here! I'm gonna get you! There! 
gotcha. Hey, you, stop right there. Oh! Oh! oh. You didn't see them, but they were so round. And they made a noise like slipshod. Right? Girls? Oh. We believe you, Rooney. Would a necklace make you feel any better? I made it by hand. The green one? Yeah. How beautiful. It's pretty. May I have one, too? <gasps> them again. There they are. Rooney, wait! <laughs> <laughs> hey! Stop! Get back here! Ooh, I'll show you! Uh, wait! Hey! Uh, Rooney! Quiet! Look in there! Do you see them? I don't. But I believe something's there. I told you, and they keep saying slipshod. We can't see them. Only you can. But we will find out what they are. Where are you going? Sometimes you can look up magic creatures by the sounds they make. So if these guys say slip and shod... <gasps> I found them! Slipshods appear when someone makes messy or slipshod magic. So somebody made a messy spell and now we all have to suffer? Slipshods can only be seen by the one who made them. And only I can see them. So only you can fix this. <gasps> Magic cleaning! Vaggy! If you do things slipshod, things may turn out messy. Or salty like that soup. Or your necklace might break. Here, this time I actually followed the recipe. And here's the result. <laughs> Vision 3. world's coolest game, Vision 3. My brothers have sent it to me from home. They already have the latest version. What? There's a mission sent who? Welcome to Vision 3. You too can be a great wizard right now. Be a great wizard tomorrow. Tonight it's time to sleep. Save the prince from an enchanted castle. Cool. Level 1, the Jolly Jester Corridor. Want to have some fun? Great job navigating those tiles. You are a great wizard! Rooney, stop that! Can you please turn it down? Rooney, it's breakfast time. Come on, Al made us fruit pudding. Bonus level! <sighs> That's okay, I've got my own fruit here on the bonus level. <laughs> Oh, 
Agility bonus! Mm. All right, you stupid spiderweb. Think you're going to entangle me? You're no <laughs> match for this great wizard. Huh. <sighs> ah, looks like you're just playing a game. Rooney, come with us. Daria found an ancient scroll in the library. It's a spell for a triple force field. Let's go give it a try. My force field in the game is stronger. The ancient hall's beautiful protective web is no match for you. You're a great wizard. Oh, you bet I am. Come on, let's get to the next level. Excellent jump. You're a great wizard. Even great wizards need to eat sometimes to maintain their greatness, you know. You've been playing that for two days now. <gasps> Rooney, where'd you go? I'm inside the game! Well, you better get out of there. I don't know how. The Watchtower Ravens, I can't move on my own. Press the up arrow. Now down. Up, down, down, up. <sighs> Rooney, are you okay? I'm fine, but I think there's something wrong with the game. We have to tell the Immortal before someone else ends up in the game, too. Or escapes from the game. <gasps> oh, what's our raven? It's guarding the game. <gasps> then let's defeat it together. Player two has joined. The Jolly Jester Corridor. It's level one. OK, if the tile you're on blinks, jump to another one so you don't fall into a deep pit. Not my kind of game. But this part is so simple. One, two, and we jump. Yesterday I finished this level on my first try. It's not a game anymore, is it? It feels so real. Huh? Rooney? <laughs> this level is so simple, huh? Well, I didn't sleep much. Of course you didn't. Not with that game. A web? Yeah, it's the second level. We need to run through it with a force field activated. I've already done this. It's simple. Oh, uh, well, it was when I played it. Got it. Pay attention, Rooney. One shield, two shield, three shield, force field. Yeah. One shield, two shield, three shield. Then what? <laughs> oh, stupid web. How do I break it? Hmm, there's a button combo for that. But there aren't any buttons here. I'm going to end this level. <laughs> Rooney, we did it! <laughs> the Royal Turbo Carpet. It's got alchemic engines. The bonus level. You grab coins from the ravens. Let's grab the whole game. Adventure better than any game. I remember playing Vision One back in the day. The Ravens were afraid of me. That was fun. Here is where the partition between worlds opened up, and everything fell right out of the game. You can play, but don't forget your schoolwork. Or forget to eat. Welcome to Vision Three. You too can be a great wizard right now. Yeah, been there, done that. But I wouldn't have made it through a single level without Daria. Oh. I'd better go practice force fields. I want to be a great wizard for real, and not just a vision of one. Vision one. You too can be a great wizard. Flotation fever. It seems poor Dorma has caught a cold. See here? She's running a high fever. Will she be okay? She will be fine, Helen. It's only a fever. All she needs is some rest. However, it may affect Dorma's magical power. There is a possibility that her dreams could become real. 
Then let's monitor her. We'll take turns. And if something happens, we'll wake her. That way the dream will stop. All right, then. I'll go first. Thank you, Helen. Well, then, let us go. Very good. Now, should you see anything strange, please gently wake Dorma. Rooney, it's your turn. Oh, it's such a nice day today. I wish it was raining. Then I wouldn't mind being stuck indoors so much. Huh, fine then. Oh dear. Don't worry, Dorma. I'll go and get my ball fast as I can. And be right back, promise. <laughs> It's so hot here. Strange. Oh, no, Teddy! You poor thing, you must be so hot. Hold on, I'll help you get out of there. Oh. Oh. oh, thank goodness. I never knew that I could do such a thing, Teddy. The girls will certainly be surprised when I show them. Let's clear the floor before it burns. wanted to be here, but she stayed with Dorma instead. She's such a good friend. She's so loyal and trustworthy. What is she dreaming about? Dorma! Dorma, come back! <gasps> oh, no! somewhere safe first, and then we can wake her. I have an idea. Good thinking, Helen. Be careful. Don't accidentally wake her. Helen, do you think you can help me up there? Maybe if I steer the bed, we can get it through the window. You've got it. Brilliant. Be careful. Okay? Quiet. <gasps> oh, oh no! <sighs> it's snowing. It's so nice and cool. Dorma, wake up! Wake up! <laughs> Dorma, you're awake! Oh. Helen, look out! <gasps> oh. 
What happened here? Dom is awake. Hmm? Doma, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I was such a bad friend. I left you all alone. It's okay, Rooney. I was having such an amazing dream. I could move things through the air with my mind. Oh, I know. You moved all of our stuff outside. <gasps> did I really do that? You certainly did. And now Rooney is going to fix it by going outside and cleaning everything up. Oh, no! 